Hello and welcome back to another video. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what are these, Justin? Okay, these are hand paddles and I'll explain why you need these if you're going to swim. Seriously, okay? So the question that I get a lot from my students is, Justin, how do I swim faster? There are two ways to swim faster in my opinion. One is to speed up your swimming which is what I don't recommend because you're gonna gas out. You're not going to last that long. A lot of people think, oh, I should just wear flippers instead because flippers, I, I can swim faster if I wear those. But the difference between flippers and hand paddles, in my opinion, is that the flippers do all the work for you. Whereas hand paddles, they, they assist, but they don't do all the work for you. So it's the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Do I wear flippers in the pool? Not really, unless I want to really not pay attention to my my feet or my kicking, like especially when I'm doing like like upper body front crawl exercises, I'm not really wearing flippers. What I'm really wearing are these. If you're used to doing front crawl, back crawl, or breaststroke, you notice that you know doing these exercises can get pretty boring after a while, especially breaststroke. And when you do breaststroke you notice that you go really, really slow compared to front crawl or back crawl. In order to alleviate the boredom, I recommend wearing hand paddles. Yes, you can wear these when you do front crawl. Yes, you can wear these when you do back crawl. But I notice the greatest difference when I wear these doing breaststroke. Because when you think about it, when you do front crawl, you're going pretty fast already. And when you put these on, yes, you go faster, but you don't really notice that much of a difference compared to wearing these when you're doing breaststroke. Because when you do breaststroke, you go really, really slow until you put these bad boys on. You'll notice that when you put these on, that you know you grip the water better. So you basically, it extends this this area of your hand to this, so you get much more grip of the water. I tried using these for butterfly and it's a no-go. It's very hard to whip these in front of you. They usually fly off my hands when I reinsert them back into the water. So just be aware that these are very, very difficult to perform using butterfly. But for front crawl, for back crawl and breaststroke, these are really good. Let me explain how to put these on. Cause when you, Enter the pool, you can't enter the pool with these already attached to your hands. That would make you look pretty silly and amateurish. When you enter the pool, you carry them like this, in your hand, like this, or in your bag, your swim bag, okay? And then, when you enter the water, you're gonna be still holding onto these, like this. So once your cap and your goggles are on, you're gonna slip these onto your hands one by one. The way I do it is, I start with my left hand. So the left hand goes in, because I can guide it with my right hand, like this. Okay, so I want you to look at the my hand positioning. Everyone's different. I'm just gonna show you what I prefer. You'll notice that the middle finger is put right into this middle slot right here. And no, I'm not flipping you the bird, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. You can see these little holes here, okay? These, these little rivets. And these rivets are meant to guide your fingers in place. Middle finger goes into this middle slot. These two fingers here go over here, and index finger here, and then the thumb here. You got your left hand ready, set, go. But what about your right hand? Now this is the tricky part, because when you're in water, okay, and this hand is not you know, open now, so what do you do? So this is when I slip in my right hand like this. So that's why I say I start with the left hand, because you know the right hand is a lot more dexterous for me, so it's a lot easier to put on. So all I do is I just slap it in. All right. So this one, you know, I can fiddle around putting this on, but for the right hand, I just want to slip it on instantly, just guiding it in with the left hand like this. All you got to do is pull. Just do pull normally like you do front crawl. Pull normally like you do breaststroke, and you notice that. As you pull with the hand pedals, you're grabbing a lot more water and it's going to, you're going to feel a lot more resistance as you pull. This is not like an easy uh, fix, like a quick fix for your swimming. No, you're going to have to do the work. So you'll notice that as you, as you grab the water, you grab a lot more, but you got to also apply more force to your pulls. 
So this is why I love training with hand paddles because it gives you a lot more resistance to the water. It feels like, like you're doubling your resistance as you, for each pull that you incorporate. It makes swimming a lot more challenging and you gain a lot more distance and speed at the same time. So it's a win-win for me. Now, here's a quick trick, okay? So you notice that my hands are here, but sometimes I play around with the positioning, okay? So sometimes I take my fingers out. So for example, sometimes I put my thumbs wrapped around like this, okay? I find that this, this grip right here, putting the thumb underneath, is a lot like grabbing a, a pull-up bar. So I find this, like right here, the thumb underneath the pat, hand paddle, to be a lot more natural for me. And I, I grip the hand paddles a lot better this way, actually. So this is a fun trick here, okay? So instead of putting the thumb here, put the thumb here instead, and then pull. Pull as hard as you can. And sometimes I put my pinky out on the outsides as well, if I want to. So like this. So you can play around, whatever you like, you know, see which hand position you prefer. But I find that most of the times, I'm not really doing this, I'm doing this instead, and pulling. As you do breaststroke, you're gonna fly in the water with these on, okay? It's so much more fun, because when you're, for example, sharing a lane with like someone who's doing front crawl, you'll notice that your speed can match the other swimmer now. Because, face it, you know, let's face it, when we do breaststroke, we're really slow compared to someone who's doing front crawl, okay? A slow front crawl, you can match a person doing slow front crawl with a breaststroke with hand paddles on. Plus, flip turns are a lot more fun with these on. When you're doing flip turns, you notice that when you do the flip turn, without a hand paddle, your, your hands go downwards towards your hips and then you do that somersault motion, right? You go into the barrel roll. But when you put, when you're wearing hand paddles and you're doing the barrel roll, the barrel roll becomes a lot easier because you're pulling a lot more water as you rotate, okay? So what I'm saying is when you do a flip turn with these hand paddles on, you're going to spin a lot faster and a lot easier. I know some of you are struggling with your flip turns and you're probably not, you know, really utilizing the full rotation of your body because you're not pulling hard enough or you're not rotating enough. Try doing flip turns with hand paddles and you'll probably notice a big difference. It's boom, it's just like someone's really like a coach, like a gymnastics coach is like pushing you forwards and helping you rotate faster. When I do my flip turns, I pull with both hands into the rotation. I tuck my head down into my belly and then I rotate. And then this position here, when I'm at the wall, I push off like that. And you notice that when you glide with these on, when you glide with hand pedals on, you really slice the water. Like you can feel the water coming, going down and above your hand. You'll feel the water slicing above and below the hand paddles. It's a very, very, uh, how can I say? It's a wonderful feeling. I don't know, it's a wonderful sensation for me. Your hands will like, will shake and wiggle a lot because of, you know, the water slicing above and below at the same time, all right? So it's not like smooth, it's more like this. Riveting, it's like, you're, it's like you're flying a jet and your, your hands are the nose of your jet. You won't know what I'm talking about until you slap these babies on your hands and try them out for yourself. So if you wanna grab a pair of these hand paddles that I'm wearing right now, click the link below. I have a whole list of recommended swim items that I, I bring to the pool every time. Pick up these bad boys. These are really good, totally recommend them. Affordable, they're portable. I mean like, jeez. Would you rather carry this to the pool or a giant flippers? If you ever transported flippers to the pool, you'll notice that they're very cumbersome and bulky and they just don't fit in your bag or anything. They stick out like a sore thumb. But these guys, look at that. It's just so portable. And you can put your swim cap goggles on top. You can protect them if you like, make a sandwich. I mean, these, these guys do everything. If you are a serious swimmer, Definitely pick up some hand paddles. They will 
really make your, your workout sessions a lot more fun, okay? And just expand the scope of things. If you really wanna swim this summer, sign up for my swimming course, sevendayswim.co. It's an online course that teaches you how to swim from A to Z. Thousands of students have learned from me. Yours truly, thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Take action this summer, get instant access to the course and start learning right now how to swim instead of figuring it out all by yourself. We're taking swimming lessons that don't get you anywhere. Seriously, you get what you pay for with those crappy swimming lessons. Okay? And you can also join our private Facebook group. The link is down below. You can ask questions, post your videos of your swimming for feedback. We're there to help you out for free and you can network with swimmers from all over the world, okay? So, thanks for watching, my name's Justin. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, hit the bell, bing! And I'll see you in the next video, okay, bye bye yeah.